one who does all this. But I wanted to try, at least give it my shot. Uh, like, the perspective of, uh, like, the, my, the, uh, I wanted to give my rendition of the event from the perspective of a complete foreigner. So, you can see Carlos is just minding his business as he does. I have the camera, so I can't really do anything. We're fixing to go up there and continue the rest of his life. However, I just wanted to share my thoughts. I'm not as articulate as Carlos, but I just wanted to give it a try. And if no one ever sees this, then it's fine with me. I'd actually prefer if no one actually sees all the videos that I'm doing. So, hey, I hijacked Carlos's camera. My name is Valerie Clefus. You've seen me on his social media. However, um, what new stuff? Look at the turnout. Look at the turnout of everyone on this bridge today. It's amazing what, how, how the impact of how comparatively few people can make such a big impact on an entire society. Uh, there is a saying uh, in my language, but I, I can't say it for the life of me, I'm tired. Uh, but it translates to great is the man who plants the seed who knows that he will never rest in its shade I would, and I'd like to say that Martin, Martin Luther King Jr. and the collaboration of everyone who took place in that march uh, their efforts have grown into a mighty tree and we can all we, his future generations can all enjoy the luxury the, that he never got to experience. And I think that's very inspiring. Like I was saying, I feel like I have to do more research in order to properly give any justice to my words. Like, oppression is everywhere. Let's be clear, and let's get that, what, that, that down. That oppression is everywhere. However, looking at all of this, seeing how many people turn up, like, a part of me, one, a part of me wishes that Martin, Martin Luther uh, King Jr. was alive to see all of this. I wonder what he'd say.